Hi, <clears throat> this is Shannon Wade. Um, I am going to do a farmhouse fresh facial for tonight. I'm using a green tea cleanser uh, followed by a vitamin mist. I'm going to do an uh, this illumination. I cannot read without my glasses. Illumination fruit. Um, it's a lovely uh, exfoliating enzyme with live fruit cells and um, the enzymes pack and eat away the dead skin. There's also um, malic, lactic, and tartaric acid in this, I believe, but um, very, very small percentages, and it's buffered. Also, the, um, the formula is a thick mask, so it sits on the surface. It's not gonna really um, get down very far in that epidermis, so you're not gonna have to worry about any inflammation with this or any peeling or flaking, possibly flaking if you're really, really sensitive because um, this can get active. I'm only gonna leave this on for about three minutes, um, <clears throat> then I'll rinse it off completely. Move on to a probiotic mask called Will Do. Um, that one is going to help restore my barrier layer, and washing uh, all the extra sanitation measures, chemicals, um, we're all dried out, we're all feeling the ick. So um, this facial is gonna help me get rid of some of that, refresh my skin, help my um, barrier layer start to repair and get nourished again and balanced. The first thing I'm going to do is remove my makeup and I'm going to use a Quinceberry body oil from Farmhouse Fresh. Quinceberry is a nice anti-aging um, ingredient. It, it helps your skin, um, it sort of has a firming effect over time. Um, just topical. It's not going to have a strong anti-aging effect for this, but I like this very much. And I am wearing uh, Lancome mascara. I think it's called Monsieur Big. Um, must be Sex and the City fans. And then this is a lip tint. So I'm going to apply this oil, and it's going to be kind of messy, icky, but it's going to just white work right off. And then I'll be able to go ahead and start cleansing.
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna pause this and come back in three to five minutes and let you guys see what it looks like before I take it off. Um, it's red. It's not too bad though. I'm gonna start taking it off now. <clears throat> All right. Now we're on to the will do. Made of legal live yogurt cultures. Very calming. Although, <laughs> it smells a little like diaper cream but it feels amazing. All right, so I'm gonna let this stay for about um, five to 10 minutes. You can leave this one on as long as you like, because um, this is a healing, nurturing mask, and um, it's not gonna hurt you if you wanna leave it on a little longer. Okay, hey, back again. I'm gonna rinse this off. It's been 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna use my Saluma. I love my Saluma panel. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. Um, it has three settings, aches and pains, fine lines and wrinkles, and acne. We use it all the time. It's it's really been a lifesaver in my household because I have fibromyalgia and uh, my hubby and I are getting up there in age. We're not young. Um, yeah, that, uh, that Salima has made it possible for me to function a little bit better since I do body work and facials. So this is the Salima panel. All I do is uh, position it over and uh, put the, put the setting on fine lines and wrinkles and I think it'll go for about half an hour or so and then cuts off on its own. But um, you know, if you can get in 10 minutes at a time, just a little bitty um, burst of the photon energy, um, it's really good for your skin. Uh, all right, back again. Um, just did the Saluma for 10 minutes. It's a nice glow, but you have to use it for uh, yeah, more than once a month. Maybe I've inspired myself. This is Crow Catcher from Farmhouse Brush. And I am following a lymphatic drainage pathway using my ring fingers. And that is going to help to get the fluid moving. Great to do for puffy eyes in the morning. Pressing it in to help it absorb a little faster. You really want one to absorb before you put your next serum on. That way, um, 
it doesn't dilute the effectiveness of any of the ingredients. Um, the spot remover, um, if you combine it with anything else, um, I mean, it just kind of dilutes the effectiveness of both. So if you're going to layer your serums, you're better off to put one thing on, wait a minute or so, you know, really let it absorb into your skin, give it a chance to work and do what it's designed to do. And then you can move on to the next serum. This is Wind Down. My resveratrol serum. Here we go. Lands to last step. <clears throat> Three milk moisturizer. This is um, milk thistle, um, coconut milk, and milk fetch. So it's actually all vegan. No milk, no cow's milk or goat's milk. Very creamy formula. It has peptides in it, um, which are nice firming, firming, plumping ingredient. It's, a, um, it's also cooling. It has a nice anti-inflammatory effect. And what I could have chosen is their um, ageless milk. Uh, nighttime lotion, which has a uh, time release retinol in it. And I usually do go with that one, um, but tonight, since I did the um, illumination fruit exfoliant, I don't want to do too much and over exfoliate my skin. So I'm going to continue on with the uh, retinol treatment tomorrow. <clears throat> 